My name is Rhett Hall. I'm a product design engineer at Yakta, and I'm working on designing the zero turn mowers. I'm here to talk to you about the YXR710, which is one of the toughest and most badass mowers out there right now. Cuts the way you need it to cut and performs the way you need it to perform, day in and then day out. So when you walk up to the YXR710, the first thing you notice is the front end. The I-beam front caster arms are designed to be tough so that you can hit a rock, hit a curb, hit a stump, and not have to worry about any damage to your mower. The nice part about the front cover is it is fully removable. There's also a little surprise behind the front cover. We have a front receiver hitch. That can be used for moving trailers around, putting a winch on there. The spindles on the deck use sealed bearings so that you don't have to worry about adding grease or greasing them at any point. You also have the caster forks, which are some of the thickest steel caster forks in the industry. It gives you extra strength so you don't have to worry about bending anything when you hit a bump or hit anything with your caster wheel. The caster wheel itself is a semi-pneumatic tire, so it has a small air pocket inside there. You don't have to worry about it going flat. You have the C-channel, side of the frame. This helps reduce some of the weight. It houses all of your deck lift linkage, your deck lift springs, anything that relates to deck lift. On the side of the front caster arms, there are tie down points for securing the mower to a trailer while transporting. You have one on each side. It'll fit a standard two inch strap and allow you to securely tie down your mower. Under the floor pan here, you can lift it up and adjust your deck lift springs. The floor pan itself has a rubber floor mat on it that's held out with rivets, so that if for some reason grip becomes damaged or wears out, you can remove the rivets and replace it. No need to worry. The deck itself is seven gauge with six anti-scalp wheels, four in the front, two in the back. The deck was designed so that it has a curved front end, so that if you hit something with the deck, it's gonna go over top of it instead of hitting it straight on and potentially damaging something. Pulley covers, we want people to step on them. We made them as tough as possible. So we have grip tape on here for people getting on and off the mower. They're also quickly removable with a latch at the front and back. On the top of the deck here, you have the lamination plate, which provides extra strength. This lamination plate is seven gauge, which matches the thickness of the deck. The tensioner arm is designed for toolless removal of the belt, so if for some reason you have an issue, it's quick, it's easy. We have our rubber discharge chute that can be flipped up out of the way. It's flexible enough so if you brush it against something, it'll not cause any damage to your mower deck. Here you have your throttle with your key as well as your PTO. Also, you have your display which shows your fuel gauge, the engine RPM, park and brake sensor, operator presence sensor, as well as the engine hours, PTO hours. Going into the menu, you can see the vehicle diagnostics, which shows you any engine error codes, as well as vehicle health data, which includes battery voltage, engine oil hours, and drive system oil change interval hours. Nice feature with the digital display is that it is not required for the mower to operate. So if there is ever an issue with the display, the mower is still 100% functional. The display is also waterproof, dustproof, weatherproof, so that it can withstand being outdoors and being exposed to the elements. Tires are 24 by 12. We went with the turf farmers to provide an aggressive tread pattern to give you grip in wet or slippery situations, but it's not too aggressive that's going to tear up or damage your grass. The YXR710 has a total of 16 gallon capacity split between two tanks. The tanks themselves have an electronic fuel gauge. They have a fuel shut off so that you can shut off the tanks for winter storage. You also can run one tank or the other. You do not have to have both tanks filled at the same time. With the seat, you have a suspension seat with three inches of suspension travel, an adjustable backrest, lumbar support, as well as cushioned armrests, which can be folded up and down. The drive handles are fully adjustable. Change the height, tilt them forward, backwards to get the most comfortable position. We also have a damper on the drive handles for smooth forward and backwards travel. On the left-hand side tank, we have a little storage compartment which also houses a cup holder and a power outlet to charge any of your devices and store your devices. The nice part about this cover with the cup holder is that you can put your can drink in there, close the cover, and don't have to worry about getting any grass clippings or anything else in there. Deck lift is adjustable by removing the pin on the side here. 
as well as lockout system. So when you push the deck all the way up, it locks into place. When you're ready to drop it down again, you can press the pedal and then the deck will drop down to the last height you had it set at. We have the engine cover that is held on by two screws on either side. When loosening the screws, you can remove the engine cover. It gives you full access to anything on the engine for any kind of maintenance or repairs as needed. The transaxles on the YXR710 are Hydrogear ZT4400s. We have the engine, which is a Kawasaki FX781 Evo. This is a EFI or electronic fuel injection engine. The EFI system allows for reliable starting in any weather condition, as well as better fuel efficiency and power. YXR710 is different from most other mowers because it comes with a battery disconnect. That'll allow you to fully disconnect your battery from everything on the mower when you're storing it for long periods of time. That way you won't kill your battery. You also have the expansion tanks for the transaxles. The expansion tanks are used to top up the fluid in the transaxles. We've got the oil drain hose and the oil filter on the side of the engine. So by removing the engine guard, it provides easy access to those. We also have the rear bumper, which is a three-piece bumper. So if one section becomes damaged, it can easily be replaced. It also includes a two-inch receiver for towing any small trailers or any other accessories to be put on the back. Attached to the engine PTO, we have an Ogura clutch that uses a soft start to engage the belt when the PTO is activated. On the drive system as well for the transaxles, there is the tensioner underneath the engine that can be used to detension the drive belt without any tools. On the side of the rear bumper, you have another tie down point that can be used for securing the mower while transporting. We wanted the customer to have peace of mind to know that we stand behind the mower. That's why we have the five year, 2000 hour warranty on everything except for the blades, the batteries and the tires. To learn more about the YXR710, visit yakta.com.